All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing two um, kind of popular cameras on the internet right now. Um, they're obviously not the best, and they're not the most expensive ones out there. This is They're both entry-level cameras, I would say. So, I'm gonna be reviewing the Canon M50 and then the Sony uh, 5100. So, basically, I'm, I'm gonna be telling you what I know about them. Uh, there's a lot to these cameras that I don't know right now, but if you are into vlogging or if you wanna just film, do different things with uh, cameras. I mean, I think they're pretty good cameras to start off with. Uh, so first I'm gonna go with the M50, which is mine, the Canon M50. I just bought it about a month ago, oh, probably almost two months now. I'm gonna be comparing the size and what they can do. I, I'm not gonna show you what they can do because uh, that's for another video. But for this one, it's basically just a small review. Um, so okay, so this is the Canon EOS M50. Um, let's show you guys real close. And you can get this one in black or white. I wanted the white one, but my wife said no, so I went with the black one. And I'm recording, keep in mind, I'm recording this video on my iPhone, so if it looks horrible, I'm sorry, guys. I have nothing else to record with. My GoPro, I cannot find it. I looked everywhere. I think my daughter threw it somewhere. But anyways, this is the Canon M50. This is how the screen comes out. Like this. If you want to vlog, your, if you want to vlog yourself the screen comes out and flips all the way so sort of like this um, kind of show you what it looks like this thing gets on the way but yeah basically that's what it looks like you can do this and then you can also you can record even with the by looking through this um, sensor right here this fella right there um, so yeah, that's about that's how the screen works on this one. On the Sony 5100, this is actually a smaller camera. This is a camera that this is probably like a camera that you want to take to shoot like pranks and stuff because it's very small and you can hide it basically. You can put it in your pocket, literally. Uh, but the screen on this one comes out like this, which is kind of more convenient if you're vlogging because it's right here in your face. So you know what I'm saying you can literally see what's going on. The whole time because you're looking at yourself as and then this one is kind of more um everybody has a bad habit even now i have this bad habit on the m50 that every time i'm vlogging or whatever i don't look at the at the lens you're supposed to look at the lens i look at this i look at the screen so every time so on the video sometimes it looks like i'm not paying it i'm not looking directly into the camera i'm looking at the screen and you can tell that on the videos because I get sidetracked and I think that's where I'm so, supposed to be looking, but it's not. I'm supposed to be looking at the lens, but it's just a habit that I have. Um, Price-wise, uh, the Sony uh, 5100, um, he bought this one at, this is my nephew's camera, by the way. He bought this at uh, Best Buy and he got it for about $485, somewhere around there, plus tax, so probably in the 500 look, uh, area. And then mine, the Canon M50, this is a 2018 camera, by the way, so it's barely a year old now. Um, this one cost me 600. Uh, I also bought it at Best Buy. I was actually honestly looking for this camera when because I had the Nikon uh, B500 Coolpix, which is a horrible camera for vlogging. Like, I, it doesn't have like a screen where you can turn it, flip it, or whatever. It doesn't do none of that. So that was a. I don't even know why I bought that camera, but this one. I think it shoots in um, 1080p, 720. The Canon M50 comes with uh, 1080p, obviously. It has 4K. So I mean, it doesn't have the dual focus when you're shooting in 4K. It has the dual um, autofocus when you're shooting in 1080p, which is cool because I can move the camera from, so I can be right here looking at myself. And then the moment that I move it a little bit and I you know, try to get my nephew or whoever's next to me, it'll focus on him or it'll focus on both of us at the same time so the image don't look blurry but when you're shooting in 4k it can only be you focused in 4k the person behind you everything behind you is blurry um, and the image gets cropped so much like it, you look way too close to the camera difference I'm gonna put them next to each other so you guys can see uh, these I should have not put the straps on them today but so look right next to each other I don't know if you guys can tell
But yeah, a lot of people talk good things about the M50 and also bad things about it. A lot of people don't like how the 4K can only do autofocus uh, on you, can't do dual autofocus. A lot of people complain about that. This one doesn't have 4K. And um, honestly, if you wanna vlog on this Canon M50, the lens that it comes with, 15 by 45 millimeters, it's not great for vlogging. You guys can tell my videos, like when I'm trying to vlog, it doesn't capture a lot of the surroundings around me. It only captures like basically me. If you wanna vlog, you need to get the lens that, that's 11 by 22 millimeters. That's perfect. It shows, it's wider, so you can get you know, you know your surroundings. So that's better for vlogging. But as far as pictures, I, mean, I think you would be okay with a 15 uh, by 45 millimeters. Um, this one, this is not my camera, this is my nephew. So I honestly don't know how it shoots or the settings on this, um, how far or close you can get. I don't know how the image is. The Canon M50, I'm super happy with this camera. Um, the only downfall to this camera that I have found is that the battery doesn't last so much. The battery kind of dies kind of quick. But then again, I haven't had a full day where I've just been completely vlogging and like seeing how long it lasts before it dies on a full charge battery. I haven't done that. But I can tell that I, every time I, I vlog or whatever, I don't let it die, but I have to charge it pretty often. So I'm assuming that the, the battery is not that great. So I would um, suggest buying an extra battery on Amazon. You can get those pretty cheap there. So that's like my favorite website to order anything from. That's where I'm gonna begin my lenses from. And I'm gonna also buy a gimbal for this camera. The reason why I didn't get this camera, which like I said before, this is what I was going for, is because you know I'm more into like vlogging. That's what I wanna get into more. So this one doesn't have uh, a microphone jack you can't put a microphone in here if it would have had the microphone the microphone jack in here i would have gotten this camera because like i said it was cheaper and i was in the market for like a cheaper camera i didn't want to go spend six hundred dollars um but yeah this one doesn't have the option for a mic and an m50 has a option for a microphone you put something right here for like the wind i forgot what those things are called but it just blocks the wind so it, your audio can sound better let's see the settings on this one Um, I don't know much about the Sony 5100. I don't know how the settings work. It don't look like it's got much settings here. This is all I'm seeing. It really doesn't actually. This one, on the other hand, the Canon M50, look at this. The, it's got so many options. Um, I don't know if you guys can, even, this thing, you, can you focus on it? But yeah, um, yeah, this one has so many options. The Canon M50 has a flash right here. I don't know if this one has a flash, but I'm assuming it does. Oh, yes it does. So that's a plus. I, I wouldn't buy a camera that doesn't have a flash. It, I don't know if they all do or not, but yeah, if it has a little flash, I would get it. So ba basically when you buy a camera, it's all, it, and your preference, what do you like? What are you trying to do? If you're trying to vlog, um, if you don't have the money to vlog, to buy a camera that's gonna cost a lot of money, um, and you're just trying to do simple vlogs, I would go with the Sony 5100 because it's smaller, it's cheaper, the screen pops right up like this. Like I said, you can see yourself, and you, it's quicker to play with it. Now, if you wanna take, I, I would say if you're trying to get more serious into like YouTube and do um, more photography and also vlogging because this is a I think it's a great vlogging camera I would definitely but if you have the extra money to spend like in the 600 range I would get the Canon M50 it doesn't feel cheap it feels pretty good and the grip also feels awesome I mean, boy. <laughs> but yeah honestly though if you're just trying to start a YouTube channel and you're just trying to if you're trying to do vlogs, if you're trying to, whatever you're trying to do, you can honestly start with your phone. I started with my, what I have, the Samsung Edge, Six Edge, that's what I had when I started making videos. And um, I mean, it recorded okay, but I mean, you can use your phone. I use, right now I'm using my phone to make this video and um, that'd be cheap. Download like a good um, editing app. And what I use, uh, Kindmaster. 
Before, if you guys have noticed in my first videos, I had the free version, so it had the watermark and it was pretty annoying because on your videos it has that kind master watermark and you can't get rid of it unless you pay. So now I actually decided to pay for the app now and I like the way it works. It's very easy to use and I mean, I can make a video on that, how to use that um, app. I also used the, I, I also have made the, I've used iMovie on my iPhone before to make a lot of my videos. So, I mean, there's options out. There's a lot of, um, I've heard of Final Cut Pro. Um, I think you gotta pay for that one. I don't know how much. There's a bunch of different uh, editing apps, but what I like using is Kind Master. The only thing is that doesn't have much options to download as far as uh, music wise. There's not many good music there options. Um, and there's not many um, sound effect options there that you can get. There's just a little bit I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the Sony 5100, how, how it looks when you first turn it on. I haven't modified anything on this camera. Like I said, it's not my camera, so I don't know how what my nephew has done, but um, I don't know if you guys can see. This is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not bad. All right, guys, so this is the Canon M50. This is how you started. Put it right here. Right now I have it on manual mode. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's many options here. Look, guys, S intelligent auto, hybrid auto, special scene, creative filters, movie recording, manual exposure, AV, which is aperture priority, uh, shutter priority, program, AE, I keep it on manual mode because that's where my friend Savon showed me some tricks on here as to uh, how to white balance it and do all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, look guys, if you want, this is how it normally it looks. Right now, I don't know if you guys can tell. You flip it over. You wanna vlog yourself like this. Flip it over, you just, Go right back to doing that. And also look, if you don't want to look at this and you want to take a picture or whatever, you just look through here. And that will that will turn off, but you can see everything through this sensor right here and it looks awesome with that. And then that's basically how this camera works. I mean, and even though the, the screen is back in place, I can still take pictures like this. You can still see everything like this, even with the screen closed. Um, so that's why I love this camera. It's got a lot of features that I like. But yeah, guys, I'm not try I'm not here to convince anybody to buy the Canon M50 or to buy the Sony 5100. I'm just showing you guys two cameras that are on the market that work pretty good for vlogging um, or for whatever you want to do, really. You just got to know how to wor work the camera. Because honestly, when I bought the M50, like the Nikon that I had was so simple to use to take pictures or whatever. There was, no many, there was not many options, so it was very easy to use, but the image was horrible. When I bought this camera, I was messing with it. I didn't know how to white balance it. I didn't know, I didn't know anything. But right now, my settings are at uh, 1080p uh, and it's at 60 frames per second. Um, so I think that works best for like what I do. Um, the movement is more fluent and it's, and it's quicker and it's, uh, works good for vlogs. I had it before on uh, 30 frames per second, which wasn't working that good for me. I wouldn't want another camera right now. So far, I want to learn how to use this one, how to do different things with it. And then once I know, then I might get something better, more like in the thousand range. But right now, I'm perfectly fine with what I have. And also guys, if you guys want me to show you like a video specifically on how to edit my videos with the app that I use, I can do that. If you guys want a video of me showing you guys how to vlog with your phone and how to edit with your phone, everything with your phone. I can do that too. I'll record that whole video with this and I'll be using my phone. Um, so yeah, man, I mean, it really, if you really want to get into vlogging or whatever, you really don't need a camera. You don't need to go out there and spend money on a camera. Use your phone. If you have a smartphone, use your phone, start with a smartphone, learn how to use the editing apps and then upgrade to a camera. Um, once you're comfortable with what you're doing because at first trust me you don't know what you're doing obviously there's a lot for me to learn as far as editing goes and uh, filming and different movements with the camera there's a lot to it but you have to have the time to 
put into this so you can learn how to use it. I apologize for the image on this video because I know I can tell that it's not gonna be great because I'm using my phone, but that's what I have to use for me to record this video. Um, so yeah, have a blessed day guys and don't forget to subscribe.